Hi, I'm Jimmy Johnson. That right there is my 24-inch drum fan blowing into a closed window. I'm Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> and behind me is yet again another unmade bed. I'm going to give you two words of advice. If you have a van and you want to put a Cummins in it, you have two options. Don't do it at all or stay automatic. Pay the extra money, get the adapters, and go automatic. The thing is, is that these manual vans are a pain in the ass to find, and the truck clutch stuff doesn't work, and nothing will, you, it, just, it just is a pain in the ass. Um, uh, for the don't do it at all part, get an F-150 or a 250 or a 350, just get a truck. Um, be, between, just, just do a truck, it's just way easier, the engine goes right in, you can practically buy an F-150, uh, let's say for example a pre-87 F-150 with an inline six and a manual transmission, all you gotta do is take the inline six out and then put in the, uh, the Cummins and then you're done. So um, we're gonna end up scrapping this fan project, um, however I wanted to put this video out so that you guys can see the BS that we have to go with. Also this fan needs a floor, things aren't gonna work right, and the transmission barely fits, so we're going to go get a truck, possibly today or tomorrow, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull everything down to the van and then put it into the truck. And we found a, a decent bull nose, I think it was a bull nose, extended cab, long bed. Uh, I think it was two-wheel drive, which is good. We want to keep it simple. And it already had a four-speed manual in it, so we're thinking we can just pull that engine out and then uh, swap in the Cummins and then kind of be done with that. So... Um, <clears throat> yeah, the other thing is the, uh, the blue car is Mitsubishi Colt, the engine went out in it, so we're, he's kind of pushed to <laughs> get, a, get a vehicle rolling, and the van is fighting us in every which way it can possibly fight us. And, uh, uh you know, our, my fabrication skills are, are pretty, and, uh, I think the only thing that hasn't broken of mine is that... Uh, this thing I just I welded to the clutch pedal assembly, which you'll see here in just a moment. Anyways, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into uh, working on this piece of crap that we're gonna scrap right now. All right, so the van saga continues. Um, we've got a different radiator. We got one for a truck that had an I6. I'm trying to figure out the lower radiator hose setup for this thing. Um, yeah. This one here had the end on the other side, which is great. We need to come up with a hose that will fit. So, yeah. Anyways, we got her bolted down. <clears throat> um, yeah, um, so it, it runs. It's got a input, uh, throttle shaft leak. So, and uh, the... Uh, it, timing advance is kind of goofed up because it's one of the sensors on the block is broken. We came up with a little clutch rod set up here. I know it looks a little kludgy, but it'll have to do. And we got a lawnmower gas tank for the brake reservoir. This uh, clutch is actually for a uh, for a van, so we're just trying to uh, get the freaking thing to bleed. Son of a bitch. Almost there. Close. Yeah. Not even close. Even in the slightest. At all. <laughs> so, Adam, uh, what did we do for a lower radiator hose? It's uh, a custom uh, hose we made just in the shop. <laughs> so, it's an exhaust coupler and right here. an upper and a lower hose for a Dodge Cummins or 5.9 Cummins. And so, we just trimmed them up a little bit and made a little, little uh, bit there and it clears the fan pretty damn good. And, uh, yeah. Can't really tell that, that it's actually two hoses. <laughs> so we got our cooling system done. Let's hope it don't freaking leak. And I'm hoping that hose down there doesn't uh, cause an issue. And we'll put a plug in it if we need to. But, yeah, we're just about done with the cooling system on this. And I'm still working on the clutch. It's kind of being a pain in the ass. I got to change a couple things, but... We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, so we've been uh, fighting bleeding the clutch this whole time and finding that we gotta find a way to have it gravity fed instead of having it trying to pull. So, um, I gotta try and find another reservoir 
um, so that it, it, that can be gravity fed, so that it can feed it, um, and then we're going to bleed it out. Um, I switched the line around it, I'm not sure if it goes on one way, but I flipped it around and um, got it on a different way, and I don't know, you pump it and you get you just get a bunch of like air and stuff, so we just got to get a gravity feed on it, and then once we can do that, then we can uh, have a working clutch. I got it pedal the uh, rod that I made um, goes in at about maybe 90% of the way and I know at least on my truck 90% of the way is like pretty much disengaged so um, even like 50% you can partially disengage it and it's it's it'll you can shift gentlemen welcome back oh I still got the crappy rental I still don't have the canopy on my truck <laughs> So, uh, all right. What's what's going on? Well, let's see this guy here. I'm gonna give you, you know, some advice. If you do a, a common swap in a in a in a Conaline, there's two options that I'm gonna give you. You can either not do it at all. Or put an automatic with the Cummins in it. Um, what we are fighting is, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to try and make this a little bit stronger. I'm going to put something right in here to give it support. I don't know if it was already starting to bend from when I weld it, so I'm going to have to take a closer look at this, make sure it's not cracking. But I welded it through the other side here too. So um, the other thing is, uh, we're fighting that the slave cylinder on the that we it's a brand new one that we bought and uh we can't get any fluid to come out of it like we got this thing right full it's fluids coming out of the line and nothing is coming out of the bleeder take the bleeder completely out and i'll push on this and it'll still try and disengage the clutch and, and not actually push any fluid out so we get like half air half fluid and it just it's it's not disengaging the clutch at all so I, I, I'm just getting a little fed up with it, so um, I'm going to uh, try and uh, make a support. What I want to do is, um, let's see, I'll have to do this. Um, this guy has to be up like this all the way. So just before this comes up, somewhere in here, I'm going to tie a brace in so that this has a little bit more support that way. And then I want to make a, another support here and then here. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at doing. Weld it all down in here, in here. So um, I want this to be as strong as possible. And then piece of angle coming up here. I think I'll cut it off and have a piece come in and it'll bolt to here and then tie in over here. So. Okay, so this bad boy here, <laughs> it looks ugly as sin, but uh, um, yeah, I don't think that's breaking. I uh, went max heat and um, for the most part, I didn't see any cracking or any, anything else. So I, I, you know, eventually I'll get it. You know, part of it's this type of welder, but uh, you know, whatevs. All right, take a look at my horrific welds. I'm not even going to show you the other side. Um, yeah, I uh, kept going on this until I got this metal hot and then joined the two pools together. Tried to do that on this, so, you know, it's... Eh. Lunch time! I, I know it looks ridiculous, but, you know, it's just going to have to work. Dun, dun. Done. So we got the clutch pedals in, not without a fight. And now we're trying, oh. we're trying to bleed the little piece of shit. Cause it's sucking air is what it's doing. Oh, I win! Suck you! You got to squirt some fluid out. Yeah, it's squirting. Okay, I'm scared. Now we should just smash it back into the, uh... Oh, fuck. You just squirted it. Look at that in my mouth. It missed in my mouth. We should, uh... Fuck. 
put that back in the slave and see if it'll pump up. Oh, it just gusts fucking fluid. Okay, good. We got we got got to pass the air. It's getting really pissed off. Oh, it's totally doing it by itself now. Oh, oh, there it goes. It focuses. So they are still working on the stupid clutch thing. I don't know. Maybe it's the way it's mounted in there, but actually, we mounted it every which way the other night, right? Yeah. And it still just wasn't taking anything. So I think I might. I'll get a vacuum pump. I think that's what I'll go get a vacuum pump tomorrow. Because we need to get this thing to pull fluid. That's really the only thing stopping it from actually driving is being able to disengage the clutch. And we're not going to do, do what I did in freaking California. And then we got to weld the shifter up. We're going to weld it just like that. <clears throat> so, yeah. If anybody's got some suggestions on what we can do to get this thing to bleed, that'd be great. Wow. One, two, three. In constant sorrow through his day, I am the man of constant sorrow. I see trouble all my day. I bid farewell to blah blah blah.